Right, yes, as I said, it would be like the Wii stuff that's coming up. Um, the Wii is actually in my living room, but I've just bought the games and like, stuff that I've got for it. Um, so basically, here's all the games. Right, I'm gonna like, just start from the bottom when these ones are, and like, flip it around and just head through. Right, we have. Um, some of these games have not been quite well, so I'll just go through them all. This one is like the Visitor's Box and the Challenge, if you guys can see this. It's a 16 plus, but it's quite like shell shady graphics, if you can see the back here. It's pretty cool. It's well to play, it's really. I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's easier than like Wii Sports 1. So, you should be able to like, judge what you think of that. Uh, CSI, like the hard evidence. Um, I've recently played about five minutes in this, and I got bored. It's basically like my girlfriend who likes these type of games. Uh, same with the next one, which is like Trauma Center, Second Opinion. Uh, I've also played this, it's quite good. Um, there are a couple of bits of bad language and stuff in it, but apart from that, it's just normal gaming. Um, Hell's Kitchen, the game, obviously, according to the Ramsey, the guy you sell. It says there's bad language, but it beeps everything out, and it's just really, really crap. If you look at the back here, it's like you just mix things. It's like basically playing a cooking game on the mini clip. It's a new Wii. Yeah, this is a game I got for my birthday. Which is the Turtles Smash Up, which is like only on Wii. Um, I've pretty much done it all of it. Uh, um, the only thing I've not actually done with the team is put it online. Um, I've just recently set the Wii up, so if anyone wants to give me their Wii codes, um, and you've got this game or any other game, just give us a shout, and if I've not got that, I'll go and get the game. And I'll give you guys a play. Um, but definitely recommend that if you're a Turtles fan. War of Smooth Moves has been out since the Wii's um, release, basically. It's still costing like 20 30 pounds pre owned to buy, but to be honest with you, it's really good. And it's, it's one of the best ones, I think. Like, one of the best ones in the world. It's Sega Superstar Tennis. Uh, I've played it once. It's to be honest, it's better like on the PS3 and the 360. So I don't know. I'd, I'd, if you're gonna use like the classic controller or the game controller or something, and play it. But if not, then just leave it. This is um, like my Wii Sports. I just stuck it like a case. And obviously, if you guys get a Wii, then it's just you get Wii Sports with it. Um, and now, if you get Black Console, I think you get Wii Resort with it as well. As well as Wii Sports, and obviously you get like uh, Motion Plus. It's Super Street Fall. Basic little game. You could. It's pretty much like a puzzle. It's just what is a puzzle game. And um, that's it there. As you guys can see, you just basically turn the Wii remote, and or you can just push buttons, and it turns the fruit around, and you need to get like three and a pair and disappear. And we've got that one. I am giving free thing. Yeah, Cooking Mama, like the first one. Um, it's just pretty much the same thing as on the DS, if you guys have played that. Apart from it's slightly harder because you've got the remote and not styles. Um, Rayman Raven Rabbids 2, because I don't believe that it's in the 360. Because um, I've got the first one on the 360. Um, Whatever the 350 games are at the moment, I don't know. Um, that, I think, yeah, they're in the box, so that's what's in there. So, it's pretty much the same as the first one, part of it. Um, you may be obviously look about yourself a lot, which is quite good. And it's a good party game as well. Alright, uh, I can be here, man. If you can see this, there you go. You get like these 3D glasses things that go like that. So they look like a twat basically. Um, you only use it for like certain puzzles and stuff. It doesn't really work that well in 
kind of the brightness of a wee bit. Um, I know it doesn't bother you much, but it's quite annoying sometimes. Eh? Sports Island um, is one of the games you must avoid. It's the biggest game of crap you can buy. Uh, Guinness World Records the video game. Um, it's funny as hell. Um, they get good friends. And yeah, I'd recommend this. Uh, Carnival. It's the fun for games. Uh, you don't get to use your meanness, you make like an art to the character in the game. Um, and just basically like play stuff like wing toss, um, darts, shooting galleries, all that type of stuff. Um, we play, um, you get this uh, with an extra controller. You basically, uh, it's just got like nine different little things under this thing like duck hunt. Um, your knees, you get to like change some shape and stuff into like, certain shapes. Um, table tennis, I think it's table, table tennis, or maybe, maybe um, something else. Is it table tennis or air hockey? I don't know, I can't remember. And there's fishing in it as well and stuff. And riding a bill and a wee tank when you're using a chunk. Quite cool. And a wee pool in as well. Um, right, next one is the wee fit. Uh, if you guys haven't done wee fit, you can do get mini games on it, but it's just it is basically just to keep you fit. So, if you fit, then obviously play it with the board. I don't know if you guys can see that, there's like a, a make them white, yeah, but it's actually like a pink type of skin thing on it. It's actually my girlfriend's. It's like a good class of it. Um, Fishing Frenzy is another one I think I got for Christmas or birthday or something like that. Um, it's basically for one time and I can't work fishing, it's too cold. Uh, it's quite good. Um, you do need a number of this as well. There's like a picture of the back, you get a boat to drive, go fishing. It's the only best one to play, just like the remote you get. It's made by Activision, by the way, these guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so it just goes like that and like that, so I'm not sure what's happening to And then the last game, I think I've done this quite quick actually. So I could go back into detail if anyone wants to know more about a game or see some gameplay. I'm going to try and get the 60 plus easy cat thing to record like 60 hertz. But then again, this supports 50 hertz, so I could do Wii games right now and call it. Um, it's just 360 and I don't have a PS3 um, yet because basically they were too expensive and there's only a couple of games I want for it, so I don't see the point. But this last game is Wally. I played Wally on the 360, PS3, uh, DS, basically all the formats, even the PS2. And I, I basically, we got this for like a 10, I think it was. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, here's what the receipt there. I got see if you guys can see the receipt. There's a PSK in there, we've got how much it was. But it's a good bargain. That Super Fruit Fall was £15, so it's dealer with Wally, and Wally would probably say it's, it's more enjoyable than the Wii than anything else. But apart from that, um, I'm just basically trying to get a lot of stuff sorted for the game room. Trying to find other consoles and stuff. I don't know what to do. And then eventually, you get like a couch or a gaming chair. Um, I'll upgrade my SD TV to HD one. Just my 42 inch phones downstairs. Like the Sky Plus or something like that. Like Sky Plus if you want to go like an SD TV. So that's basically it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go into my Xbox Live now. So, um, it's Captain Cuffle. From my game of time, Captain Space Cuffle, and then that's it basically. So, I'll catch you guys later. Um, and sorry again about the Modern Warfare 2 video, I know it's crap quality, but I'll get there with it. Just give it.